Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can change the gathering rate of resources on your Rust server. And as the name suggests, this will change the amount of resources that you get from things like trees, animals, rocks, and of course, anything else you can get resources from. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually stop our server. So go ahead and click stop. So once your server has stopped, go to the left to the UMod plugin manager. And here we're going to need to put the plugin link. So go to the first link in the description and it will take you to this UMod page where you can then see gather manager and then simply where it says download, you're going to want to click the clipboard icon and this will copy the URL. So then go back to the UMod plugin manager and simply just paste in the plugin link. Then go ahead and click install plugin and there we go. So we now have an install plugin and it is gather manager. So now we can start up our server once again and then we're going to test it out. All right, so we're now in our Rust server. So if you press F1, this would then take you to the console. So let's say you wanted to increase the gathering rate of everything all at once. You simply type in gather.rate and then dispenser and then a space and then an asterisk, another space and then the number you want to multiply the gathering rate by. So let's say we did five. And now it says you've set the gather rate for asterisk, which means basically everything to five times from resource dispensers. Now in this plugin, there's four different types of gathering, and one of these is a dispenser. The other ones are pickup, quarry, and survey. So in this case, dispenser, that's when you actually get the resources from the item itself, like hitting trees, mining nodes, and also attacking corpses. So now if we go ahead and go to a tree, if you go ahead and hit it, as you can see, we just got 25 wood from that single hit, which is definitely a lot more, as you usually would get five. So if we instead turn it back to one, which would be the default, if we then hit this tree, you can see we just get five. So if you wanted to do another one of these gathering methods, for example, pick up, this would be items on the floor like hemp fibers. So by default, if we go to the hemp fibers, we get one hemp seed and 10 cloth. We also just happen to get a worm as well, but that is just a random drop. But then if we go to the console and we put in gather dot rate, and then instead of putting dispenser, we're going to put pick up and then we'll put an asterisk. As I said, an asterisk will put it for all items in the pickup category, but I will show you how to do it for individual items in just a minute. So then we're gonna put our multiplier number, let's just put five, and now set the gather rate to five times. So if we pick up another hemp fibers, as you can see, we've got five hemp seed and 50 cloth. So that is five times more than we got before. So of course the other one is the quarry, which means it will multiply the resources you get from the mining quarry. And then the survey, this will multiply the resources that you get from the ground when you use a survey charge grenade. So of course, instead of putting the pickup or dispenser in this, you'll simply just put quarry like that, or just survey like that. If you don't want to increase the amount you get every time you hit something, what you can also do is increase the amount that the thing will give. So let's just say, for example, this tree took 10 hits. If we were to do dispenser dot scale, you could then put an asterisk and then we'll put a multiplier. So let's put five times and then we'll put the name of the dispenser, which in this case is just going to be tree. And then we'll put the multiplier. So let's put five times. Now, as you can see, you've set the resource amount for tree dispensers to times five. So if you were to mine this tree until it falls down, you would get five times more resources than normal. But of course, it would also take a lot longer, as the gather rate would be default, unless you set it to something different. So finally, I'm going to show you how you can set it for specific items. So let's say we wanted to increase the amount we get from this stone, but not the amount we want to get from the trees. If you go to console, you're going to put gather dot rate. And then the kind of gathering type, so in this case it would be dispenser, and then the material you actually get from the dispenser. So in this case, it's going to be stones. Of course, if you're doing a tree, then it would be wood. And we're going to put a 10 times multiplier. So by default from this rock, we should get 75. Meaning with the 10 times multiplier, we should get 750 per hit. So there we go. We set the gather rate for stones to 10 times from resource dispensers. So if we go to hit a spot over here, as you can see, we just got 750 stones every single time we hit it. Although if we go to use this axe on the trees, you can see we still get a normal amount. So it has affected only the thing we set it to. Now if you're doing for something like sulfur down here, then if you instead put gather.rate dispenser as the item, which is sulfur, or in this case has a space, you're gonna have to put it in quotes. So if you put it like that, gather.rate dispenser, and then in quotes, sulfur or, we then put a multiplier of 10 times. And now if we hit it, as you see, we're getting 200 per hit. And now the final thing I'm going to show you is simply just how to separate them. So earlier we set this rock in front of us to 10 times. However, if we do what we did earlier, when we set everything to a different number, 
If you set anything manually, like we did this rock and the sulfur node, it won't actually change these. So it will keep them to what you set them manually, but it will change everything else. If that's a little bit confusing, let me just show you. So we've set this to 10 times. However, if we then do gather dot rate and then dispenser, and then we'll put an asterisk just so this will work for all dispensers. And we'll then put a 20 times multiplier. And then we've now set a 20 times multiplier for resource dispensers. However, if we hit this rock, we still get these 750 every time. Although if we go over to the trees over here, as you can see, we're getting 20 times the resources. And if we were to mine something like iron as well, we'd also get that. Or even just these trees on the ground. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.